Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Professor Layton and the Miracle Mast. We are continuing this adventure right here, right now. Story so far. Lydic wants Henry directly with evidence that connects him to the masked gentleman. Henry, however, claims that he is actually the victim. Can he be trusted? Mrs. Lador. Actually, Rachel, I was wondering if you could aspect Henry has been keeping. I think he may have found a mask of order while he was re searching for Randall. Is that so? He hasn't said anything about it, but he must have found it. He found the Asrum treasure after all. I don't know why, he's why he would still be hiding it. If that's not even I can stop the masked gentleman. Yes, yeah, so our answer may lie in finding the mask of order. We'll continue our investigation. Thank you, Rachel. Please let me know at once if you find. Anything pertaining to the mask. Both Lafton, I've been looking all over the place for you. What can I do for you, Constable? Would you be so kind as company me to Celebration Boulevard? It's about the Masked Gentleman's case. The Masked Gentleman, what is it? Has he appeared again? All I know is that our partner wants to talk to you. He was one of the officers on duty during the Statues incident. They gives me going more complicated by a second. We need. And his officer is on Celebration Boulevard, you say? That's right, but I'll take you to him. A lot of tourists seem to have been. to have trouble telling us apart. Must be the uniforms. Must be. What the fuck? Show me the great consolator around the city of Mis Miracles. Um, this way, please. Oi! Surprise, surprise! And the surprises do not cease. Our bright number trails of destiny cross before us once again. Nice to see you again, Aldous. Um, good evening. Good evening. Ah, yes, the evening has fallen and lamentably to have my spirits. But that air of tears no longer fills my eyes. Now do we meet. New warmth crosses. New rum courses through me and soothes my heart. Huzzah! Then I'm glad we could be of help. But you must not leave without my gracious gift. I wish the puzzle over a hundred nights. Please take it. You have two wooden crates without lids. Uh, all the length for the mansion in both crates, length for that is 30 centimeters. The also nearest box to have a length of width of 20 cm and height of 10 cm. You need to pack as many of these in the crates at once as possible. If you use both crates, what's the maximum number of boxes you can fit at once? Will there be any parts of boxes sticking out of the crates? So 20 and 10. So three on top of each other. 10. Why is that? You can put three on top of each other, three on top of each other, so that's six. One on either side. One on either side. That's one, two, three, four, ten. Don't keep me in suspense. Perhaps I need another look. You 
boxes on top of each other. And create space for exactly two more. At that point, your answer is 12. I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. You back some brain power. Twelve boxes will, f uh, will fit. You can put the two crates together with the opposites facing each other. Then you carry more boxes without any of them sticking out. That's an event of twelve. That's the late than I expect. Use the intellect that slides through a puzzle like all chains or through butter. You're too kind, Aldous. Ah, humanity. Humility is enduring. But with me, unnecessarily, I know the reason. The, the wisdom swirling tight inside your chapeau. You're bright at my evening, and I am certain you're bright at many more. Until you meet again. I'll tell you something, but nothing actually seems sufficient. Well, we at least did this puzzle. Professor, that tree like just went over there. Uh, maybe you needed some help. He looks a bit, well, stumped. Sure. Where did that go spell anyway? A citizen in distress. Ha! <laughs> Haramp, city's too big. Can I find a thing? Pardon me, sir. I'm Professor Herschel Layton. Might I be of some service? Uh, aye, cheers. Tabby Brawl. I just got here, and the place of me is very stumped. The name's Tenenbaum, by the way. What seems to be the trouble? Well, for one thing, this command of map uh, doesn't make an ounce of sense. Whenever new tourists arrive in town, they are given a map to help them with the sightseeing. Virtually, the maps have a tendency to fall apart after, along the fault lines. Maybe it's to work, it's not to get, and here we go. Team short to its original. Then yeah, no, this seems not right. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Well, done. that should make uh, things a little bit easier now. Puzzle 077. Mishmash map. Is that a puzzle in next? A spell of courage. Aha! Harumph! That's. And I'll do just nicely. I'm um, very chill with this, let me tell you. Wow, the Professor late in action. You really are as good as to say. You're lucky we came along, sir. The Professor is probably the world's greatest authority, the world's greatest authority on puzzle solving. Oh, yeah, well, now what you do against the lad who was staying at my house? He was puzzled bonkers too. Ah, created that dad like my own son. But he went and left by the ward a few months back. I couldn't believe it. In fact, they came there hoping to find him. Off to a bad start, aren't they? Got a Marcel getting Marcel lost and all. Doing himself, sir, everyone finds Montador bewildering at first. You find your feet in no time. I wish you the best to look in your search. And that's if he kind of you. And thanks to helping out the map. I just be going my way then. Cheers. What the hell am I voice doing for accents? Jesus. Never too busy to help pass by over his troubles. You're a very kind man, Professor. At this rate, you have the mystery of the masked gentleman sword before you can say Bob's your uncle. Haha, <laughs> I'll do my utmost to justify your faith in my abilities, Constable. Wait, Bob's it? Bob is someone's uncle? 
Sure. If anyone has an uncle named Bob, be sure to let us know, question mark. Hmm, that's funny. He said he'd be waiting right here. I didn't see any of any other officers here at all. Let's look around, the, uh, around a little before we give up entirely. Uh, that my part of there. I'm not sure what I want to tell you, but let's find out. How about the presser? Oh, marvelous! You know, I really haven't for a chance to talk to you for ages, Professor. Does it concern the moth gentleman? Yes, I'll never forget that night. Seeing a heroes on horseback in hot pursuit of the ghastly villain. It moved me, sir. Play move me. Heroes on horseback. Are you talking about us? There's a neat, sir. It was a sight for Sir Rice, so it was. The boys were all so impressed, weren't they? Impressed? Hmm. I gotta tell you, brother, sir. Mooning you in the flesh after that night is an absolute honor. You flatter me, constable. I oh, flatter, sorry. You don't, uh, you don't do any more horse riding while you're in town? Just let me know. I'll make a course for you. I, I see. Well, I suppose I might enjoy a little canter. If I have a moment to spare, I do an investigation, that is. Excellent. I'll start working on an obstacle course right away. Now, where can I get some swinging axes, I wonder? I do my utmost to make sure this course is worthy of your ability, sir. Because well, I can help but note that there's nothing to do with the moth gentleman. Ah, my apologies, but look at the bright side. You end up with a supply of carrots that will last you a lifetime. Oh, well, the things are running this way. We we'll recommend that running in the streets, especially with the scissors. Did you hear? Something amazing is going on at Scorpion Casino. I bet it's the most Dynamons dandy work. No time to spim spam. If I miss this miracle, who knows? Oh, and there'll be another one. What do you think, Professor? Is that the most sensible the casino? That's not where the last warning said it would be, but anything is possible, I suppose. Well, I'm still on duty, so I have to go and see what this was about. I shall eat to the casino. Oh, and your lads wouldn't be allowed in normally, but I plan on going. I'll. But if you plan on going, I'll tell them to make an exception. It's been an honor, Professor. Mom. Go by the map. To go to the casino, we need to head through the shopping district and Charles Avenue. We should go too. We head up to the arcade, we should reach the casino. It's lively, doesn't it? Come on, what are we waiting for? Professor, do you see that nervous looking man over there? Yeah, something's going on there. Oh dear, my hacker's open. What if I'm given the boot? Speaking of which, are my shoes untied? No, I'm wearing loafers, good. Wait, no, still loafers, good. Maybe we, we should just move on, Professor. No, I mean, it can't hurt to ask. How did you? I'm afraid I'm in a rather tight spot at the moment. Not for uh, me to push my troubles onto you, but you know I'm an accountant, don't you? No? Well, I'm Murphy, bookkeeper, bookkeeper for both my Sedat and the doors. I'm gonna get on myself. First, a little background on Montador. The city was founded by Henry the Dora, but a big part of its expansion came from competing with the help from St. Dunstan. Here's a good part. Getting arrested is not good for business, you see. Mr. Dalston has taken quite a hit. That's quite the information given us, Murphy. St. Dalston business intersects her at risk. Ah, excuse me. I forgot you don't have numbers on your, your blood. Let me exchange some of the domestic business then. Shopkeepers. A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, run a baker. Uh, pastry, a bookshop, a grocer's, and a cafe. Which person works? Um. Okay.
Sin okay, cafe, baker, buys your groceries. To see his bookshop. Neither A nor B run the bookshop, but that's good. Uh, e and I also visit the cafe and the grocers. So, here's the cafe. Shop. Well, no, let's see. Uh, for B. So E goes to grocers. Mm, okay. Wait a second, we have connected two already, so that means there's Cafe and Grocers Which means E runs the paste here So now looking for B and D You visit the cafe and grocers. I believe I have this one. Nope. I'm not certain what happened here. Okay, so C never bakes bread. We're close to the bakers and the pastier. Seen above we're close to the bakers and the pastia. So that's those two. Why is it all sitting near the grocers? But see, and I haven't dropped. So it's definitely not those. But see, I haven't dropped the cafe for ages. Uh, so B doesn't work at a cafe. B also doesn't run a bookshop, which we already knew. Okay, so B is not the next one. A doesn't work here or here. Doesn't say anything else about A though, so... B at least doesn't have the cafe. E. Uh, you know, near the grocers. D doesn't run, doesn't bake bread. D doesn't bake bread. It's 
Cafe in the Grocers, so you make that. Bakers in a pastier. He doesn't run a bookshop. That doesn't help anything. Both near the grocers. He's never said do not bake bread. Okay. B is not connected to the cafe. I would guess this town. This is what Just is on a mind. dash of puzzle solving here. Look up, sure. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Correct. A runs a cafe, B the grocers, C the bookshop, D the pastia, and E the bakers. But paying close attention, you can rule out what you say don't do. Turn us then to Goblax Beauty, beautiful up of our local economy. As you must know, Mr. Lador founded this town in the middle of the desert. This will restore used to be an oasis, the origin of the city, right under our feet. The view is quite central to the whole city. Not to you, Murphy, but how about getting to the point? Quite right. Too long story short, oh, I love my job. I can't see books a lot. Fascinating work. Anyway. When Mr. Dawson was arrested, the situation took a nosedive. More than a nosedive, really. A whole face dive. Now, had a healthy competition for Mr. Dalton, Mr. Mr. Lador. I can just sit back and rake in the profits. What we're dealing with over here isn't so sure of physical damage, economic, and that's the worst of all damage. Will this miss the door business also suffer if the tourists are frying it all the way? Ah, that would be a true. If that were true, you see, everyone seems to be flocking to see the miracles. In fact, in the last month, Mr. Lador over on Netflix were, were up. Let's see it uh, adjust the tax allowance, carry the five. Isn't that information confidential? Oh no, oh no, I've done it again. Yes, it's confidential, but wait, did it actually say anything? It was not, you never heard the last part. In fact, it was never a last part, which may actually be true. So in conclusion, what you're trying to say is Dawson the rest has left a great purpose trying to read the door. Exactly so. Was I clear enough? In fact, was I vague enough? I don't want to lose my license, you know. You see. Professor, it seems that Mr. Lador has both the motive and the means. It's certainly a prayer step way. Okay, next. Hmm, the needle is a bit loud, but does it uh, go out to gold? Humbug, everything goes out of gold. I would say artificial light match matches your particular charm, Mr. Waltzan. An excellent observation, dear girl. And may I also call with you and your ability to maintain a sense in the face of my glittering wealth? I would prefer if you didn't. Yeah, it's not that hard. Well, still, I can't expect anyone to appreciate the finer things. How did you can even grasp the rules? So of course, but this is worth that. Three darts players who just finished the game. Uh, with uh, the results as shown. Can you work out how many points each different color section and that's with the dwarf? Uh, okay. So the closer to the middle, the higher the point gets. We can't do the entire side of that, but... Eek. 
let's say that A is 10. Actually, no, that can't be. Let's say that A is 9. Beautiful, though it's the right one. If A is nine, uh, A will be seventeen. It's it's not eight. I think it's seven five three. So it's eighteen. Twenty one, twenty four. Could mean that it's four then. Four plus five, so it's uh, nine. Eighteen plus seven is twenty-five. This one has three in blue, one in yellow, uh, one in white. I mean. So it's uh fourteen twenty-one wait seven no wait, it's three times C sorry fifteen so it's twenty-two it's nine seven five four please allow me Leave it to me, Professor. Uh, correct. A is 9, B is 7, C is 5, and D is 4. As you remember that only one possible values are from 1 to 9, this is just simple calculation. Soft toys, ooh. I would say that an impressive such low class kebble uh, could reason out the basics of such a refined sport. Um, that matters, my family is actually rather wealthy. But sure, money is everything. Maybe someday you realize, you realize that. Spoken like someone who earns an hourly wage. We really have a new shop unlocked, so, ha. <laughs> oh, God.
There we go, that's my answer. Quite an easy one. This one. This is easier than the last one. We're all sold out. Well, there's only two after this one, so we're getting rather close to the ending. Ugh, I didn't set aside money for the trip back home. What could be worse? The bloke next to me uh, left a small fortune. Too bad he'd arrived to a large one. Uh, he wasn't happy, having a real good manager he was. Belowing like some sort of big water buffalo. You could stamp uh, until another once, but no one listening to you got no chips. Take it from me. I wonder if uh, there's a word about the same as a casino. It doesn't sound as if it led to the most tantrum. Do you still want to look into it, Professor? Find a piece of situa situa solution to potentially violent situations due to every gentleman. Well, if you want to get to casino, you keep uh, on straight from here. Once you get to the end of the avenue, you can't miss it, mate. Just for the trail of Broken Dreams. Broken Dreams Avenue. Thank you for your time. Let's take the place. Let's go in and see if we can help. So we get this right. You're saying I'm the one who lost. Fair and square. Oh, I see. I'm the villain now, am I? That's a laugh. The only crook in here is a shady dealer of yours. There's a shady dealer of yours. Well, over of day, sir. Uh, I'll have to ask you to leave now. Tomorrow is another day. That's it. Let's see how come you feel after I break your swarmy sunglasses. A moment, gentlemen. Let's all settle down and discuss this rationally. Relax, citizen. It's all under control. Why, hello there. Why simply cannot bear the sight of violence? I understand there will always be conflict in this world. What you want to suggest will result is in the most beautiful form of contest known to humankind. A puzzle battle. I'm listening. Well, never brought my words, Mr. Fancy Pants. You ain't got no chance of beating me this time. I'm sure you're correct. And while I dislike rotations, I found the notion of a puzzle battle quite intriguing. Please go ahead. <laughs> Good stuff. Come on, I can't go all day. Now, a page of virtue, gentlemen. This is a casino, and a casino battle of chips. Now, at a glance, the ships may look around in place. But behold, each column deliciously adds 15. That's up to 15. What a dreadful state of affairs. The rose uh, bereft of the same aggressive symmetry. We must have this poor disordered rose, mustn't we? So let's get to arrange the chips so that the columns of rows all add up the same number, beautifully and balanced. Good, have you moved the chips around so that each your own column adds the same number of child's play in it? Yes, I think I understand. What we can do is in a few his moves will be forced to victory. Just something when you're ready to answer. Got it. That was fast, Frankie. Let's see your solution. Now watch and learn. Ain't that a picture? We better have solved it.
I want to check. Yes, indeed. Everyone call up to 15. Bravo, and imagine that when Hero now humbly ignores his defeat. I see the condition of the puzzle I'm filled, but. Uh, yeah, they have. So, what's your problem? So, I believe there is one more elegant solution. Whatever you mean, sir. All the rows and columns are complete. If you're trying to save face, I must say I'm disappointed. Look, what does the puzzle remind you of? It looks like a little. Looks like a magic square puzzle. Exactly, except that, in a way, is now the solution is incomplete. Right, you're up, so the roses and columns are fine, but the daggers need to add up to 15 as well. Oh, no, that is the them. Dane Dwarveth. I just moved the chip exactly like you. Haha, <laughs> Frankie. The eyes and columns are the last one. Please, there is no doubt about your victory. Yet I concede that this one can show a proper solution, then you're utterly disqualified. Well, now, let me demonstrate. Wait, yes, to do it unless moves than me, or it doesn't count. Understood, I should complete uh, with only two chips. Okay. How he uses chips. Wait. Yeah, funny to give me that one now.
Aha. How to know? How to do? Uh, you know to do not. I'll turn it to you. The vault of pushing chips relatives would not have occurred to me. Most inspired. Very kind. You see that the rose columns and then all all add up to fifteen. A complete uh, magic square has a certain beauty, don't you think? I I, I must agree. I don't judge, but to declare victory for the gentleman. I had a real tough time there, Jesus. Oh come on, knock! I had it. Now, Frankie, try to be a good sport, would you? I make it rich if you left now. Oh, but fine, I'll go. But it's not over. Not by a long shot. That was some skill for arbitration, sir. I need to add a one a man casino to Mr. Lador's growing list of worries. My pleasure. It was it was worth just to see a flawless, elegant solution laid out before me. My thanks to you as well, sir. I feel I got you some of the work. My name is Drake, by the way. I'm the manager here. Press the Herschel Layton. And there is no need for a word. Simply relieved what could, uh, what could resolve the situation peacefully. On the other hand, we more than willing to accept the reward for my skilled arbitration. Nice, this is it. Drop in and see us again sometime. I said to the shell, don't forget me. That all kind of felt like one big sham. Probably is, to be fair. No matter, let's pick up the investigation where we left off. Dear me, I clearly lost track of time. Let's uh, make way to Tingle Town as quick as possible. Yes, let's. Tingle Town is at North End of the City, as I recall. Finally, to the fun fair. Not that fun, Luke. The masked gentleman is going to be there. There's a clown there. Road to Tingle Town, the, the fancy factory for all five cents. Oh, whatever the sign says today. I know, you're the clown you bumped into after the Cetrian incident. Yeah, I'm Yuckles, and I hear the most gentleman's playing another caper here tonight. Oh, goody. I still have numbers about the night Cetrius. I'm doing it running after me, very slowly. You still have this miracle up close, didn't you? Pardon me, uh, Yuckles, may we were hoping to stop the masked gentleman before he strikes again. Oh, the auras. It is, isn't it just... Wait, you cash it, Manus? Put an end to my nightmares? But you can't let your guard down. All right. How's this? I'll let you in, but only if you solve at least 50 puzzles. So many puzzles have you three cracked up to this point. No, sorry, I'm not keen on letting any guard investigate. Uh, you need more puzzles under your belt. So you can't come into the park. All doomed to escape lands and shots going first. Ah, what should we do, Buster, if you can't get to the fin farm? Clearly we need to solve more puzzles. It's amazing how many people are willing to agree to our request this way. Well, only one place to go down. As I'm sure a certain woman has stored some puzzles for us. Haven't you, Granny Riddleton? Dun dun dun. He he, is it supposed you're after it? Then look no further. Post of 55, spin, uh, spinning mice too. Red and blue labor with friends, even the lost side of each other of another in the comet. This time, they don't live, the corner's blocked away, but they must also find a way through time the tunnels to go right through the cobble coming to the side. Can you, once again, build uh, the blue one? Sure. Okay, it's not that hole. Thank you. 
Okay, let's not do Schneider. Right there, then so then there's one more route to take. Hey, we did it. How exciting! Just leave it to me. Well, let's have to say close in the future. I think I've done it. Okay. That's juicy. Do you know if Juice Factory once sent a gift to three important customers to make sure no one was offended? They were all given 18 liters of juice. But there weren't enough uh, of each bot sized uh, Still, the owner had to make three shipments of 18 liters using different sets of small, medium, and large bottles. So that's two, four, six. It has to be eighteen. The reason for one. D of both six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Got to be eighteen. Uh, six, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep, that's the answer. I'm not certain. Did I get it? Alright, the large world, six liters, the medium holds three, and the small holds one. That's a lot of juice. I could have done it better myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brushed throne. Okay. Six wings are standing in an iceberg. Five small ones are either poorly. Poor emperor. All penguins can move either or zero vertically, but once in motion, no one's up until they hit another penguin. If there's nothing in the way, the pulling shows you get up and penguin get back to his rightful place in the center of the iceberg. Touching all the penguins and slightly side is not touch screen. Uh, we're gonna keep shining to the bones to another penguin. Be careful if the penguin doesn't stop or it'll fall right into the sea. this um puzzles um. are made to be solved great uh you were you able to guide the emperor to the center without losing a single penguin to the sea i'll give you the episode only five moves i'm not sure if you use more than that oh that is 50. Let's go back to Tingly Town because there's the next part of our investigation. And I kinda want to get like as far as I can. Eek. Wrong warning. Wrong out. So I want to really go as far as I can in as little time as possible right now. The earlier we are on like the next part, like the investigation, the the, the better it is. You're back. The fair is almost ever came me while you were gone. The fair and the candy floss. Tell poor clan what he wants there. Have you sold at least 50 puzzles? Great, you proved that your hats, uh, like your hats far more for just wearing hats. I feel a whole lot better by letting in now. Here, take these passes. You can get it, uh, for free all week of them. Enjoy your time and end this reign of terror. Best of luck. 
But uh, just in case you fail, I'll be running away for the night. Wait, run? No, I'll take the Montador tram. Gets to the race course in no time. You can buy a ticket of the machine over there. Enjoy. Oh, and watch out for owls too. Uh, Claire is bright. He's always shooting when you least expect it. He's a strange one. I suppose it's part of the clown trait. Oh my! She ran a mass dust colors. I'm ready to have uh, to have at him. We only just arrived ourselves, Inspector. I don't see any other police officers in the city. Is, any, is anybody else coming? Well, Shepard's convinced that Dalton's his man. He gave off the last night off. The rest are patrolling the city center. Shepard may claim to protect the city, but his overconfidence is really putting people in danger. But with or without support from police, we have. Uh, to start a search, right, Professor? Yes, we need to track down the mouse gentleman before he's able to act. I naturally have already found the first clue. On my way in, I spilled the poster writ a new spin on the miraculous. Does it uh, sound like a theatrical friend? But what does it mean, Leighton? I need to think about that. There's no time, man. You sit here and think. I'm going to charge around until I knock him over. For the art! Frosky. Now that Dr. Grosky is occupied, okay, let's consider this clue. A new spin on the miraculous. There's no shortage uh, of things to spin here in the Ferris world. The America Round, the teacups. Then we get the roller coaster. Those wheels uh, spin rather fast. What should we investigate first? Seeing as you're so excited, I think it's fair we let you decide, Luke. No think of right. It's kind of a spooky version, isn't it? It needs far less environment than your everyday giant teacups. Still, it does set a pleasant spinning tingling tone for the ride. Hmm, there's something funny about the teacups. It ain't uh, nothing to uh, them look like pumpkins. Pumpkin spinners. Here's where we can ride uh, final fairgrounds everywhere. The spinning teacups. Well, something like that. At least, aren't those pumpkins? Anyway, uh, all those five spinning cubes. One is not like the others. Can you find a one that stand, uh, the one all out? Well, he certainly has no fucking nose. He looks like a skeleton. Actually, ANC also has no nose. Have no nose, so. Blue and yellow are always against each other. Apart from on B. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That's just looking at the colors, by the way. Fine puzzle for a gentleman. Fair play, the Caesar split into color segments and everyone can accept B as the same color of course. It's hard to tell while spinning though. Hmm, I believe something may be hidden in the pumpkin there. Let's run to the rescue. I'll go and investigate, Professor. I suppose investigating a ticket right shouldn't be too dangerous. Haha, <laughs> no, I think it's quite safe. 
Professor, do you have any idea what the Master Gentleman is planning tonight? Difficult to say. The fact uh, that he chose such a crowded venue is worrying, though. Sooner or later, somebody's going to get badly hurt. Professor Emmy, I found this card stuck underneath this tea and teacup. Good work, Luke. Hey, it's the Mask of Chaos. So that's the Master Gentleman. What could it mean, I wonder? Oh, God. This is you try to do, perhaps one of the more obvious spins at the fairground. It's moving a little oddly, isn't it? Alright, I mean, it's like it's coming to a stop. Bump up the I wonder if it's broken. Let's do this puzzle, and after that, we end it. Loose connection. Oh no, the cable section in the circuit has come loose, and now the various rule controls don't work. You have to repair the yellow cable quickly. Fix the circuit by moving the yellow. A section down to the gap at the bottom of the grid. so close I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Well done. If you solve the puzzle in 80 moves, give yourself a run the applause. Not a very rule should be back under control. The very rule is running normally again. I wonder uh, where the right part is though. Presser, there's a card stuck on the side here. You got a picture of the mask scales on it. Anyway, it's clear. What is Vinky is uh, endangering those innocent Ferris who riders? As if he is, he took a left by the masked gentleman, but it tells a little, presumably, it's part of his message. Okay, well, that's it then for this year recording session, though. Thank you all very much for watching. We have done 52 puzzles and we're getting rather close. In any case, have a good one, and we will see you all during the very next mystery. Or part of the mystery, at least. Good day.